Right, it's safe to say that he has been arrested, and that's a developing story. We are learning the details, and as soon as we know where he's being taken to spend the night, we'll definitely be updating you. Now, let's talk about the reason why he is where he is tonight. Ugly, disre disrespectful, and embarrassing are just some of the adjectives the Catholic Church has used to describe the brawl that was witnessed at its Gitui parish yesterday. Now, the Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Muranga now says, it will no longer, for the foreseeable future, invite politicians to take part in fundraisers in church. But as it points an accusing finger at the politicians, could it be ignoring the log in its own eye or the barriers with the reports? Respectable, <laughs> unfortunate, <laughs> and shameful. These are the other adjectives the Catholic Diocese of Muranga so fit to use to describe the events that transpired at the Gitui Catholic Parish on Sunday. A free-for-all as the loosely termed guests of honor turned the noble into what may as well have been a barroom brawl. And it treated the house of God as an arena where political scores can be settled. Admittedly embarrassed, the diocese, which covers Moranga and Kirinyaga counties, has moved to save the situation as it were. Uh, for the time being, uh, there will be no uh, political uh, politicians invited to sell, uh, to, uh, for uh, funds drive until further notice. This incident was a strong confirmation of the reasons to limit time and space offered to politicians. Chastised, the alleged instigator has at least acknowledged the offense. Mukijua kuna siyasa ama mwepaga jama. Tafadhali, tunaifanyia kwa props, tunaifanyia kwa uwaja, maneno ya kanisa, tuipatia heshima ila inapa. Na hiyo nasema kutoka koroho yangu. But there are those who take the view that while matters may have gotten out of hand, it was hardly uncharacteristic of politicians and that it's the church that should have known better. Olive Barrows.